Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is Eileen with Unique Gifts and Decor by Lady Di. Happy Tuesday to everyone. I'm hoping you guys are enjoying your day today. I am hope you all had a fabulous day. I hope you got a chance to do some things that was on your list that you have to do this week. You're getting a head start on some things and you're gonna knock them out of the park. Um, today has been a very interesting day. <laughs> um, it's just been interesting, okay? That's all I had to say. But um, just want to let you guys know, um, today started out raining today, but it has stopped. So my plans to go out and yard, um, weed eat was interrupted, which was, I'm not I'm not mad, the sister is not mad, because y'all know I really don't like to do weed eating, but that lets me know I've got to put it off for another day. I said I was going to do it Saturday, but if, everything goes well I might just get up in the morning and do it you know depends on how the weather is but I don't really don't want it to pile up um, it's not bad but you know how once you cut your yard real good and then you the pavers you see the grass that's close to your pavers that's it just it's not crisp and neat like I usually have in my yard so yeah I gotta do what I gotta do but anyway again I hope you guys have enjoyed you all today I did put a motivational um video out this morning and i hope it inspired um a lot of you guys it's just a word of encouragement you know we all need that here and there um i was reading some of the comments and one of my subscribers y'all we don't know how what we say or what we do that touches other people okay um she got on and she put in the comments that she has stage four lung cancer. Who y'all? Who the thought the little things that I say make a difference? Um, she listened to me yesterday when I was talking about it's okay. And she got on today and when I was talking about the spirit of discernment, um, she's doing her chemo and um, once you take chemo it kind of makes you sick on your stomach um, and she also said they gave her some medications for pain um, she said that she didn't take that medication because she didn't know how she wanted to be feeling but her husband had um, made her take it so that you know that hopefully it will help her so she can be feeling better feel like herself sometimes they do say that when you take that medicine you you kind of really it just does something to you where you're not feeling like you're you, you yourself, okay? So when she was going on and telling me that in the comments, y'all, it just, I'm saying, wow. When she was listening to my words yesterday and today, it kind of, it hit, it just hit her where letting her know, you know, she can get through whatever she's going through. Um, so she said she did get up and take her medicine today, which is making her feel a little better. She had a little more strength. And she's trying to get some her basket back into creating some more of her baskets. So I responded back to her, the things that we go through, you guys, please remember that some of these things are really not for us. Now, I'm not saying her, her situation with her lung cancer, she's going through it for a reason. And her reason, I don't know, only God knows. It might be for her to bring some people that she might meet along her journey towards him. We don't know. But she was telling me that my words encouraged her to get up and take her medicine and make that step. So y'all, I don't know how God is using me. I was talking to my girlfriend, Natalie. We talked about two, two hours yesterday. And I was just telling her, you know, I don't know how God had me out here encouraging. I mean, I've been encouraging people all my life, but I didn't know that the things that I'm just sharing everyday experiences or how we should be doing things and how should we be looking at things in a positive way not in a negative way but you guys she told me when we always ask God to use us we don't know in what capacity we don't even know how and I have been a willing vessel for God to use me in whatever that he wants me to do or what me to say I didn't know yesterday what I was going to say, but I know the Holy Spirit told me this week to do motivational videos all this week. Now, after 
Friday or Saturday. The end of the week is Saturday. I don't know if it's going to continue on. He just said this week. But in this time, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know <laughs> what he has me to say every day until I get in my prayer time with him in the mornings. So it just baffles me, you guys, that the comments that I'm getting is what I'm saying is helping them or encouraging them. And you guys, it is not me. Sometimes I have to go back and look at the videos to see what I was telling Natalie yesterday. I say, I've got to go back and see what I said when I'm listening to the look reading the comments. And I'm like, Lord, did I say that? I, some of these things, y'all, I say, I don't know that I'm saying this. So that's what I'm saying. I know when the Holy Spirit takes over and speaks for me, okay? Because I don't have the power in me to tell y'all what I'm telling you guys when I just be on a roll. But anyway, I just wanted to thank you guys for your comments, um, encouraging me that I am helping you guys. You know, it just makes me feel good that the little things I'm saying is making a difference in somebody's life. But I just want to say thank you. I appreciate you all taking the time. I know today was a little 30, almost 30 minutes. It might have been 30 minutes, but I just had I just had to say what you told me to say, okay? So enough of that. I just want to say thank you. So today we're going to make some mugs, okay? I did some mugs the other day. I'm walk, going through my stockpile, um, going through, finding things that I can um, kind of get rid of, okay? Even though I'm making stuff for this fall festival so that are coming up in these Christmas uh, holiday markets, if they don't sell, honey, I, I can use these. I'm putting them on my website and I can sell them any time of season, okay? So, the mugs, some of these mugs that I got, I got from the Dollar General and some I got from the Dollar Tree. So, this one, what we're going to work on today, this is one from the Dollar Tree. It says, cutest pumpkin in the patch. Now, these I got from the Harvest Sale at the Dollar General, okay? I think at that sale time, everything was pretty much a penny, okay, in that time frame. So, this mug was a penny at the time. So, I've got some styrofoam I got from uh, Dollar Tree. Have this for a minute. So, only thing I did is I cut a piece of the styrofoam to fit inside of the mug. So, as y'all can see how it is here. I put some white tissue paper around it because, you know, it didn't fit all the way in when I cut it. So to fill in, I just put tissue paper on the sides, okay? So these are the items that I'm going to put in this mug. I've got some cocoa that I got from Walmart. I've got this cherry blossom uh, lotion that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I've got my picks. So I've got different color picks that I'm going to use, you guys. I am not sure what colors that I'm going to use, but these are the fall colors. So we're just going to um, kind of go by ear on this. So you all probably think, Eileen, that is burgundy. Is that really going to match? And I thought, well, I did have a kind of orange one in my stockpile. I used all of those. So I said, let me try to do something with this burgundy. So y'all bear with me. Now, if it don't work out, y'all know what Eileen's going to do. I'm going to start over. <laughs> but anyway, what I do, I put some hot glue on the top here. And I'm just sit this on top right here. Now, you could use glue dots, but I want to make sure that it stays. And it will not damage the top if they decide to take it out of the mug, okay? So let's start with some of these flowers. So let's see what we're going to do first. So what I do, I got my flowers from the uh, Dollar General when they had them all those flowers on sale during the har harvest clearance sale, and they were a penny. So I've got a lot of flowers that um, I need to use up. Also, you can go to the Dollar Tree. They do have a lot of the fall flowers out as well, and I'm pretty sure the Dollar General probably have some um, out as well. So any color flowers will do. Um, I'm going to show you guys one where I use some of those Timu roses as well. So you just have to decide what kind of flowers you want to use in your arrangement. So let's start with this kind of maybe a, a light orange, maybe a peach color. So I'm just going to rotate the, the different color flowers. Let's see. Let me do this right here. Um, 
I can't tell you how many to put in there. You just want to definitely fill it in so that it will be full. You can at least rotate um, different colors. Let's see here. And you want to do it all the way around, uh, around the mug. And you really want them to kind of be on the sides. You want to have the two burgundy side by side, and you can just fill in the rest. It's, it's how, really however you want to do it, to be honest. But that's how I work mine in. And I need to put one more of these in here. Well, you guys, this is how it's looking so far. I'm going to move these out of my way. So this is where we're at so far, you guys, okay? These are easy to put together. Now, and I have these little berries. And if you can look close, it looks like it has a little burgundy on the top, some of these, so which matches well. So we're just going to add these to... The arrangement. Someone asked me on my Facebook page, the Facebook uh, gift basket um, <laughs> group, that she wants me to show you all how to do some floor arrangements. And I said, well, I'm a. I hope that I can do that. I hope I can fit that in my schedule. But this is kind of I'm doing it like this now, you guys. So um, floor arrangement is really not that hard. Uh, sometimes you can put glue on the bottom of these where they can stay in very well but that's on an arrangement that's not going to be coming or loose now because this person whoever purchased this they might just take the mug take the flowers out the mug so you know i just didn't want it to be stationary like that for a floral arrangement so this is what we got so far you guys so i think let's see what else we do here i might You can um, just experiment with you guys. There's no right or wrong way in doing floral arrangements. And these are sticking down in the styrofoam, okay? And make sure you have some uh, wire cutters that you can cut the arrangements with. I mean, the stems with. So you um, you can use them with your scissors, but eventually you don't want to break your scissors. So get you some wire cutters. Um, they might have them at the Dollar Tree. I'm not sure. I I got mine. I had mine for years. So I I, I can't tell y'all if the Dollar Tree has them. Or you might want to try them at a Oh, even Walmart. I'm pretty sure they have them in the hardware department. You know, Walmart has. Wally World has everything. And it's really it's how you arrange it any way you want. There is no particular way if somebody tell you well you need to do this this way this way you guys we are we think out the box on a lot of things so whichever looks right for you then that's what you need to do okay now i've got some pumpkins over here somewhere and these pumpkins comes from walmart i mean excuse me dollar tree and I'm just going to add one of these in here. As you can see, they already come on the stems. You can definitely cut the stem down because you don't want it to be, unless you, I mean, I guess I, let's, let's try something. Hey, that'll work. That'll be so far. Now I've got my cocoa here. So I am going to add my cocoa um, to these 
arrangements right here right quick. Yeah, I'm trying to clean as I go, so I won't have to worry about doing it after it. So, I did get some glue sticks today, you guys. I went to Wally World. Now, my goal is to, once I take them out, I will put them back in the box. At least I can find the box, okay? Stephanie was at right on gift creation. She was laughing at me today when I was, she said, you and these glue dots. I'm like, I know. She said, do I need to send you some glue dots? <laughs> I said, no, I don't. I'm okay. I'm cool. I just don't understand why I can't keep I keep losing my glue dots. I'm gonna put another one on here so that it can make sure it stays. And I'm putting the glue dots back into the box. So, what do you guys think? Very easy to put together, you guys. It, I mean. I think it turned out very well. You can see on the back, it's full. Now, I want to show you all the ones that I've put together. So this is a Dollar General mug here. This one is a Dollar Tree mug. Y'all probably seen these in the store. This is this one here. This one is a Dollar General mug as well. It says, Hello Pumpkin. And this is the Dollar General, um, Dollar Tree, excuse me, the lotion from the Dollar Tree on this one. This one here is a Dollar Tree mug. The lotion I got from a Roses with the cocoa. These pumpkins are from the Dollar Tree as well. Flowers are from Dollar General. And here's a purple mug I got from the Dollar General. And I did get the lotion from Rose, uh, no, 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 from Dollar General as well. Now, you see, I did use some of the Dollar General, uh, Dollar General flowers, but these are my Timu flowers that I integrated in there as well. Okay. With the cocoa and these picks are from Timu. And here's another one that I did. And this mug is from the Dollar Tree. It says, all you need is love and coffee. Now this is Bath and Body Works product uh, lotion I had last from last year when I went to the outlet here in uh, North Carolina. Picks that I got from the Dollar tree the flowers are from dollar general the black ones as well I, I just got these um at the dollar tree the black ones okay because they always come out on the fall because of halloween and all that so i had some left from there and i've got uh these pink ones that i got from the dollar general last but not least you guys put another one of my glue dots on this one. Here is one from the Dollar General, I mean Dollar Tree as well. I've got the lotion from um, Bath and Body Works. The flowers, the uh, ivory colored flowers are from the Dollar General and the black one uh, as well is from Dollar Tree and I got one of my pumpkins in there, okay? So let's go back through. Y'all tell me which one you guys like the best. Starting off with the one we just made. This one. And here is one here. Love these fall colors. Fall colors are pop. And here is this other one but with the dollar oh wow let me see this is the dollar tree mug yeah i know i didn't i don't think i put this one no blue dot on this one you guys and we're going to fix that right quick here so it will not come loose here
this one with the Bath and Body Work product with the Dollar Tree Cup, the pink, black, and gold. And here is the purple, lavender, and ivory with the Dollar General mug. And this one is the black, gold, and ivory Dollar Tree mug. And last but not least, you guys, this one has the turquoise, the orange, and ivory. I don't know which one I like best, you guys. <laughs> but now how I'm going to box these like I did the other ones, I do have these window bags. Now, I only have two white ones left, but I do have a pack of the black. So, let me see how it's going to look in here. And these are kind of tall, these Bath and Body Works. So, I don't know if this one's going to fit really good down in here. I guess it could work. You kind of just want to fix it up a little bit. So that might work with that one, you guys. The black with this one. And then I've got two white ones. Well, let's see how the um, Valentine, I mean, not the Valentine, excuse me, you guys. The um, fall ones I'm looking here. And I guess I'm going to have to put some shred or something at the bottom. But I think that's going to work perfectly, you guys. I might just do them all black. Huh? You know, you just never know. I don't know about that um, purple. That purple. Well, we can try that one to see how that one's going to work. Too. And I got these bags from Amazon, you guys, during a Valentine's Day. Uh, this year but yeah that might work too you guys you just never know so the black bags might be the way to go so you guys this is how i make my mugs look like floor arrangements um again if the person wants to um leave it like this that's fine or if they can take the lotion out and the cocoa out that's fine it's a floral arrangement or they can take all that out and have the mug with their cocoa with their and have their lotion it's just a versatile gift, okay? So thank you guys again for watching my videos. Please like, share, comment. If you have not subscribed, you guys, I'm on this August Fever series. I will, I'm coming up with all different concepts for the fall season. Thank you again for watching. Be blessed to the next video. You guys take care. Bye-bye.